guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a great day. For those of you who are new here, I'm Naomi and I post art related videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, please do hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how you can reuse your old table mats and turn them into decor. Also, all of the supplies that I've used are linked in the description box below, so be sure to check them out. And let's get into the video. So, for this DIY, you're going to need a table mat and any bowl or vase. I had this glass jar. I wrapped the table mat around the jar to measure out how much I would be needing and then cut it out. I painted it a creamish color and did some cross stitching on the top and bottom. You can decorate it however you want. This is how it looks. I used E8000 to glue the ends in place. Now you can leave it as it is or you can glue another piece at the bottom like I did. For the second DIY, I used a frame. You can use whatever size you want. I removed the cardboard and the acetate. You don't need them. Now we are left with just the frame. I measured out how much of the table mat I would require to stick inside the frame and cut it. Then I spray painted two coats of silver epoxy paint. I used this foam wrapping for the backing and spray painted it black.
I also cut a cardboard in the same size and stuck the foam wrapping on it. and then stuff the table mat on the foam wrapping. The foam wrapping is going to act as a cushion when we pin up photos. Then take the entire thing and put it back in the frame. and you're done. This one is very simple. For this DIY, I turn the table mats into coasters. Use any shape you want and cut out the table mats. I cut out a hexagon template and used it as a guide. Paint them in the color of your choice. I also cut some cardboard in the same shape, painted them and then stuck it to the bottom of the table mats. For this DIY, I used a plastic jar. You're going to make a hole in the bottom. Next, wrap the table mat around the jar, measure, cut it out and then paint it in the color of your choice. I also made a tiny notch at the lip of the jar so that I could easily pass the wire. Painting the interior of the jar is totally optional. Then take the table mat and glue it on the jar with the jar lips on the bottom.
add any lights of your choice on the inside. I added fairy lights. And that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it please give it a like subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video and if you do attempt these diys please tag me on instagram and draw design and decorate and i'll see you guys next week bye